healing beings, Danny, Danny's Moon Heart Meditation Journeys. This is video number three of the series I'm doing on the Summer Solstice 2024 plus the full moon in Capricorn. So I'll post the links to the other two videos, of course, in this one because this is the final one. I hope you go back and look at those other videos because they'll make this one make more sense. Um, in terms of the briefest of recaps, I will help you a little bit <laughs> here. Um, the first video we talked about um, that in order to make full sense of any given moment in the um, in astrology, um, such as a summer solstice, it's important to look at what's been going on in the months before and the months after. Um, and so that's what we, we walked through in the first video mainly. We talked about this here being the um, ingress of Pluto into Aquarius. We talked about the conjunction between Jupiter and Uranus and Taurus. We talked about um, in the same month as the summer solstice, uh, Venus transforming herself into the evening star, uh, yada, yada, yada. Um, so there. Um, the image we took away from that was this idea of the, sol the soldier of the sun, um, as well as uh, gold coins being tossed onto a table. I'll get back to that. Uh, in the second video, we basically hit on the highlights of the chart uh, in the moment that the summer solstice occurs. And we were talking about um, the square between the sun and dark moon Lilith in, Vir in Virgo, and also the square between the sun and Neptune in Pisces, therefore the opposition between Neptune and dark moon Lilith. Um, and ultimately where we landed, and I won't recap the whole thing, um, was it's important for this summer solstice indeed to be at home and lie in the grass. Um, and while there's lots of serious work to do on our own stuff inside of us, and a lot of super serious work to do in, uh, in terms of the collective and our community and all of humanity, of which we are a part, this summer solstice is, yes, a time for that soldier of the sun to rest and be at home, surrounded by loved ones, um, and have a quiet mm, series of moments to ourselves uh, before we go on to fight the good fight. Those were the main highlights. Um, okay. I want to talk about the uh, full moon in Capricorn. So the full moon in Capricorn means, of course, the sun is in Cancer. Capricorn Earth, Cancer Water. At the time that this uh, full moon is happening, we still, of course, have the dark moon Lilith in Virgo, and we still have uh, Neptune in Pisces, Virgo Earth, Pisces Water. If you look at the chart, actually, um, that moon-sun opposition, and you draw the line, and you draw the line for the Neptune-Lilith opposition, it's a cross. It's like a square, a square cross, okay? Um, also on this um, full moon in Virgo, in Capricorn, pardon me, um, there will be a sextile between Mercury and Mars. Mercury will also be in Cancer. Mars is in Taurus. Taurus, Earth. Cancer, water. Earth, water again. Um, that Mars-Mercury sextile is a very magical, quiet little moment where Mercury is going to be like, Mercury's over there with the sun in Cancer, lying on the grass, whispering into the ear of Mars, and Mars is like our soldier, right? Mars is our soldier of the sun. Um, over there in Taurus, and Taurus is not a really friendly place for Mars necessarily, so the soldier is feeling a little bit depleted, and Mercury is magically sending the message across, a couple signs across, um, to encourage the soldier to stand down encourage the soldier that we know there's lots of uh, big gigantic work to do Neptune in Pisces and Dark Moon uh, in Virgo um, encouraging the soldier to stand down just a little bit longer and, and, and luxuriate lying in the grass and being safe and sound with family and friends um, we will get to that Capricorn moment <clears throat> that Capricorn moment in the future later on in the year that Capricorn moment meaning it's a plane going above that Capricorn moment, meaning a, 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 a moment of maturity, maturation, 
um, and making a really important contribution in our life's work. Sorry, let me let that plane. So I'm looking and as the plane's going up, up over me, there's also a, a, a snowy egret. There's a snowy egret just like skimming above the water over there. Um, and that egret occupies that space just between the, the water and the earth, doesn't she? Right. So we have lots of um, water and earth um, duality going on in the chart. Um, I was talking about Capricorn. So Capricorn is a super serious sign as the cardinal earth sign. And from an esoteric or soul-based astrology perspective, Capricorn is really like, um, again, coming into our full maturation, making a really serious, important commitment um, out in the world. And yet the sun is in, in our inside, deep inside space, tucked away in cancer, being uh, comfy and cozy at home lying back on the grass. It's, 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 the message is all about timing, right? The message is about timing. Um, you're here listening to me because you're wanting to do the hard, important work on yourself. And maybe you want to do some hard, major work for, uh, for, your, for your loved ones or for your community or for the whole, wor whole wide freaking world. It's all about timing. Um, and so our soldier of the sun, it's not quite the right time to, uh, to pounce and make that major gigantic contribution. It's coming. It's coming this year, but it's not quite the right time. So I feel like this uh, full moon in Capricorn is about is, is contemplation of timing, being appreciative that we are maturing and growing and we've, we've done a lot of amazing, amazing um, work uh, towards that moment of maturation and, and readiness and preparedness. But the soldier's not quite there. Soldier's not quite there. I had um, a spirit journey uh, just the other day um, about this uh, full moon and Capricorn moment and what the visualization was in brief um, was the soldier, that soldier of the sun was up there in Capricorn um, walking up, um, wa I mean actually like perpendicular, walk walking up this hexagon shaped stone tower um, stretching forever into the sky. The stone tower was stretching forever, forever, forever into the sky, a hexagon shape. And the soldier was like easily walking, like without, with no ropes, <laughs> with no, you know, um, assistance. Up the side of this tower comes to a, to, comes to a, a, a window, an opening, enters the tower. It's, in, it's a huge chamber with a column in the center, vaulted ceilings, um, and uh, 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 forever you could see around you, um, bookshelves, shelves with tomes and many, many, many thousands, countless millions, billions of volumes of tomes. And uh, there in the center of the open space was a table and a, and a spirit helper sitting at the table and spread out on the table was, was, a, was a map. But the map was made of like, like liquid, a map of water, liquid water. And the map was, um, pardon me, there's a bug. Um, the map was the map of time. And our spirit helper was explaining that in, that this moment of like these moments of spiritual maturation, we actually step out of the map of time. We step out of that outside of the map of time within which most of the time we are swimming and and hanging out, sometimes even drowning. And so in this moment, we if we if we are finding ourselves ready, um, in that maturation, spiritually speaking, then this full moon in Capricorn is a moment where we step outside of the map temporarily and as that soldier of the sun, hand over our coins, our golden coins, we cash them in. We, we, we contribute our golden coins to the, the bank, <laughs> this massive bank, this hexagon, hexagonal tower the bank of knowledge and love wisdom to our own soul's progression through many, many cycles, as well as the progression of the human soul, collectively speaking. That's my full moon and Capricorn explanation and the connection that it has to this summer solstice this year. We are soldiers of the sun. We are on this journey. We're on this path, working towards the moments of maturation. There are many, many cycles. Most of the time, we're not ready. 
and sometimes we are able and ready to step outside of the that liquid map of time and make that major contribution to our soul's progression to humanity's progression and so as I sit here on the edge of the water between earth and water I invite you to luxuriate in the summer solstice lie on the grass think about timing and the right timing for you and readiness and when your soldier is ready to step forward and make that contribution this year it may or may not be on the full moon day the full moon day is a moment to have a revelatory uh, flash of insight perhaps about your journey towards readiness to make a contribution as a soldier of the sun. Always be lighthearted. You are not alone. You're always connected. <laughs>